Hello everyone and welcome to this free training where I show you Google Ads one-to-one -one method or simple keyword ad group method, SCAG uh, for short. A quick note before we start, uh, this is not for uh, applicable to e-commerce sites, for most of them, the ones that use Google Shopping. This is only for Google text ads, just like that. So before we go into this, I just wanna have a few screenshots that I made just looking at uh, for something. So whenever you type in something in Google, you kind of expect to see exactly what you typed in there. So let's look at this, for example, you type in Roover, Roofers Manchester, and this, these, look at these two ads. They don't even, they're not, they don't mention Manchester at all. I typed in for a roofer in Manchester, but there's like in Stockport, that's like miles away from Manchester and Rosendale, I don't, I don't even know where, where, where that is. I can't, and I live in Manchester right now. So these ad, these ads are probably paying more because of the Google's quality score. They're paying more than these ads uh, per click, but they are on top because of the better quality score. And our method make, ensures that it's all matched and the quality score is maximized. Let's take a look at this another example. Plastic Surgeon Manchester. Look, only these two ads mention Manchester. In their in their ad, and and these ones don't. So they're paying huge amount of money, and this this is a very expensive like cost per click, three pounds and ten, right? They're probably paying like I, I don't know like five or six, and these guys are paying I don't know one pound or two pounds. It's something like that, and then and then look at this ad on the bottom. Okay, if, if this one's just good. Oh, where we go? Like this ad, it doesn't even have a a full description. Like you can put 90 characters, but they only put like 20 characters. There's just so many bad ads out there. It's unbelievable. There's just so many mismanaged Google ads account. And in this training, I'll show you how to set up your Google ads account in a way that makes sure that you maximize this and uh, maximizes your money that you put into the account. So how does my method works from the user's perspective? Because that's what's the most important thing. We want to provide the great experience for a potential prospect or for our user, all right? So the user types in something in the Google. We'll just call it the keyword, all right? So it types in. He expects by our method, we would make sure that in the headline, they would see exactly what they've typed in. So they would see that keyword. Whatever they typed in, they would see there under our method, all right? So, and then, uh, apologies for my uh, bad paint job, but, but this, this is just to show you an idea, right? And then after the click, they would get on the landing page that would have that keyword, the, that search term that they typed in right on the page. So it's like a, a smooth transition from this uh, search term to the search engine results page, and then to the landing page, all matched up. It would look lovely, like I've gotten to the right place, now I can submit in my details because this is the page exactly that I was looking for. Okay, so how does it look like from the account performance uh, perspective? So this is just like a screenshot of one of my uh, clients' account uh, that I'm working with. So they came to me, they were running the, their Google Ads account and it wasn't really, well, they thought it could squeeze out more. And when I looked at it, heck yeah, we can squeeze out a lot more. So this over here on the, on the September 22nd, we implemented the Google Ads one-to-one -one method. So look at this, the, the green is, is the cost, like how much they were spending, and the red one is conversions. Look at that, look at that. So, so what happened after we implemented the method? Look at that, the cost went down actually. It went, well, stay this, no, it actually went down. But look at the conversions, up, up. Look at, look, look at the before and after comparison. Like the cost per conversions, before that September 22nd was 80 pounds per conversion. After that, 24 pounds per conversion. Look, look by how much they went up, but the cost, cost was about the same. It's, it's just phenomenal. And let's, let's take, take a look deeper. Why, why, why did it happen? And like, what, what were the underlying trends there? So for that, I have this, uh, where I have this graph in the data studio that I compiled. Uh, I really love this graph. Like, so just to, to explain a little bit more, uh, you probably, if you don't know Google's quality score, I'll, I'll go a little bit later in the deeper that, but it basically on a scale one to 10, it assigns how good of an ad it is. And there's, there's a couple of factors in this. So in this graph, I compare, uh, I kind of graph uh, 
what what is the spend uh, for every every quality score keyword. So like you, the 300 pounds were spent on the quality, almost 300 pounds were spent on the quality, uh, on the keywords that had a quality score of 10. That's what it was. And you can see the correlation, like the better your quality score, the lower your cost per click. And look, look at this account. This account wasn't bad, wasn't badly managed account. Like, you know, you see the most of the spend was really on these high quality score keywords, right? So it, it was doing well. It wasn't like a poorly mismanaged account. It was a, a pretty well set up account, like by using like conventional methods. Okay, let's take a look. So that's between September 1 to 22nd. Let's take a look. For, so from September 23rd up until, uh, well, just look at October, October 6th, apply. And voila, look, look at that, look at that. So it was 0.4 we were paying uh, for those quality score. Now we went to, uh, it was 40 cents. Now it's 31 cents. And look, the, the, the spend here is minimal. Like all of the spend now is is on the keywords where the quality score is 10. And that, that's after implementing this one-to-one -one method. Look at that, look at that. Like if I really love these graphs, it really shows like the health of the account, right? It, not in all industries, you're gonna get 10 out of 10. You might, but you still want that switch from, from these like a bad quality scores to like a better quality scores and get to the closer stand as possible where the cost per click is lower, right? And that correlation is so clear. All right, let's go back to our presentation and go a little bit deeper into that. So here's here's what how the quality score affects your CPC. This is just an image I found in on Google. But this this is true based on the, that graph we just saw from the data studio. Uh, where I pull the data from from Google Ads, and it's 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 a great tool. I, I highly recommend you for like reporting and and discovery. So if you get if your quality score is ten, Google likes you because Google is interested in showing ads to the users that bring that bring them what they want because they're interested that users actually spend their time on Google and use that as a default search engine. If they wouldn't do that. They uh, then we would all be using Bing, right? Because and we use Google because it, it gives us what we want, and it encourages advertisers to to give users exactly what they're looking for, and that's why they came up with this quality score system, and that's why they give huge discounts to those that have great uh, quality score. While they look look at that, they're penalizing it. If if your quality score is terrible you would pay a lot, lot more. So like all these ads that were, they were saying plastic surgeon somewhere else, while, while, while the user typed in Manchester, they're paying enormous amount, if, even, if, even if they get that click. So quality score is, is based on the three main pillars. So the first thing is relevance, which we are maximizing basically how, how the ad copy is, uh, is relevant to the keyword. And the way we do that, we just put whatever the, in the search term, we put that in the headline one. And that's why we get the max point for the relevance. And then also in the description text, we try to put uh, strategically the, the, the keyword text. That's how we get the, the relevance up. The click-through rate, obviously, if someone, we give user exactly what they're searching for, they're more likely to click on it because it's exactly what, what they searched, exactly what they were thinking. They see an ad, uh, a search result with that specific text. Obviously, they're going to click on it, and uh, the click-through rates are going to be high, and our quality scores are going to be high. And the last and least, the landing page experience. On the landing page, uh, we do we're going to do what's called dynamic text replacement, where we where we match the headline of the landing page to that same keyword. So, like once they get on the landing page, they see the same thing that they clicked on on the ad. So like, all right, I'm in the right place. I'll keep scrolling. I'll keep reading. I'll take actions from this landing page. So that's how with this one-to-one -one method, we hit all these three main pillars of having a great quality score. Okay, so let's go in the, in, uh, in the, actually, this is the most interesting part. So how we actually structure our account. So this is the old structure. Uh, and all really all the Google Ads courses are advocating this, that you have must have multiple keywords 
in one ad group and then you create an ad like like really everyone and then you kind of group them and you have 20 30 keywords per ad group and and so forth and then you put a couple ads you a b a and b test them yeah that's all good but no here's the method that i favor so firstly you only have two match types exact match and broad match modifier right no phrase match no broad match you, you never use them like these are pointless you want to get most of your spend through the exact match then also you split all the campaigns so you group your campaigns by by some topic right if you're a law firm you have an immigration lawyer and um and then you might have some conveyancing right so you, you group those these two campaigns also you can group the campaigns by location right so you have location campaign where actually in the keyword they type in manchester or or bristol or london right and that's they can type in anywhere in the uk and then you have a, some specific uh, campaign if someone types in for example immigration lawyer just that right you you want it your ads only to show in a certain area so you strict the location for that so that's how you split up the campaigns then the ad groups this is where the one-to-one -one comes into place it's one keyword one ad group one keyword one ad group and that's it right so all uh, all of the and and both of the keywords will be duplicated twice and the ad groups will also be twice so if you have a keyword for example immigration lawyer right you have it as an exact match in an exact match campaign and you would have it as a broad match modifier with the pluses in front of the immigration and in front of the lawyer in the broad match modifier uh, campaign All right so and then obviously you would set up multiple ads but the ads and for every ad in that ad group the headline one will be exactly that keyword right or you can so for example if it's immigration lawyer london you might put headline one immigration lawyer in london right if the character limit allows you to do that right so you customize it based on based on that but it's it's as closely matched to the keyword as possible and for all the ads the headline one will be the same and then a headline two and a headline three in descriptions you can rotate i always put like six of them and then they all rotate and you figure uh, the google itself figures out which one is the best one and it wants to use right and then obviously you have the landing page with that same keyword i use the dynamic text replacement uh, with an ad unbound account where uh, where in the in the url you put like a question mark and then your parameter name and and then you type in equals to whatever your keyword is and that's your final url so and i build this all out in a brick spreadsheet and then i upload it to the account and it works great it works magic we you really maximize the quality score and also your account is really well organized so take a note of this slide you might screenshot it you might write it down this is the most important slide in this training okay i hope i've given you tons of value so far and you might have some questions so is it you do you think is this hard to implement so creating a one ad group for every keyword you know obviously if you do it manually it will be super complicated right because you would uh, you, yeah if you go to the google account the way i do it i build it out in a spreadsheet use formulas and then i upload with the google ads editor it takes like two three hours to restructure an account with like 300 keywords right and then when it comes to bid optimization right you, you might think it's going to be difficult right because you're going to have so many keywords so many ad groups but no it's, it's actually easier because your account is very well structured it's it's really it works in a system right and, uh, and and then you can if you get a lot of conversions at a good rate you can turn on smart bidding and it works great with that because it can bid on a such a granular level right with all these different keywords built out with a specific ads so it, it it works wonders so i've given you tons of value I hope I hope it, I gave you good ideas on, and you could understand of how this could work. So I have, if I may, ask, uh, make, take a minute to give you like uh, two offers uh, that you could do as a next step. So one, I've created this online course. 
it's comprehensive, but at the same time concise. I think it's a little bit less than two hours of like recordings where I share my screen and I cover this everything, A from Z, on how I build out an account, starting from the keyword research on how to build out the spreadsheet. I even give you the actual spreadsheet that I use with all the formulas in there. So you just need to drag it down, copy, um, and then how to upload it all to the Google Ads editor, how to write effective ad copies, how can you develop an ad catalog and then manage it, right, with with a real call to action and having a right hook that kind of entices users to click on it. I, I teach all that. How to build a landing page with, uh, I use a, a landing page builder Unbound, but you can apply it to anything. And you can apply it also to your website if you want to use that. But I always recommend using a landing page so that user is geared towards that call to action and takes that action, whether submitting the lead form or wh whatever you want to do. I also cover how to set up the, uh, the tracking, because that's really key, right, when it comes to the optimization. And then I cover how my method of optimizing the bids based on the metrics like search impression share on top, and obviously the cost per conversion and average position uh, before it gets deprecated by Google. So that's one thing I'm selling that course for dirt cheap at the moment, right? So take advantage of that before the prices rise for that course, because it, it will really cover it with you. Also, if you, if you want help from me, you can schedule a call with me absolutely for free. For 30 minutes, we're gonna discuss what are the best steps uh, to restructure your account or how I, however I can help you. Um, and I can give you like a person, we can discuss how I can personally train you because you probably are the best person in your business uh, to run, like not someone in the agency. Uh, who who knows who who maybe not, doesn't know as much about your uh, business uh, as they could to make sure and is invested enough to optimize your account to the best because 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 Google Ads it seems it seems complicated at the beginning but once you kind of get the grasp of it of the main concepts it's actually fairly simple right so I can give you this personalized training training over one day and we can actually restructure account. Uh, with you sand, uh, side by side, and I can give you training on how you can uh, how you can optimize it further uh, to make sure that you uh, your investment in the Google Ads is is maximized to the thing. So buy the course, or schedule a call with me, or you can do the both. So uh, so thanks for tuning in. I hope we uh, I hope we get to speak in person as well. Thank you. Ciao.